With 16 and a half miles of track, Severn Valley Railway is one of Britain's top preservation railway lines. Today, Thomas the Tank Engine and friends are running on the line. Days out like this help raise much needed funds to help keep steam preservation alive. But, as I've already discovered, that doesn't halt the work in the restoration yard. As well as meeting the current and next generation enthusiasts, I will be helping out some of the skilled volunteers. These dedicated individuals don't just maintain and operate the railway, they make sure the trains are kept in working orders for years to come. It's a lengthy process, and often means completely dismantling old units in order to restore them. All, all these pieces are from this carriage. Uh, the, this is the standard that we are aiming to return everything to. And what wood are we talking about here? Uh, uh, that's a mahogany, a teak or a sapili. Uh, they're, they're all exotic hardwoods, which is a bit of a shame now because they're outrageously expensive. But in its day when it was built, they were dirt cheap building materials. Right. Now this piece here is, looks like some sort of a coding machine, I guess it isn't. No, it's a, it's a control unit which controls the dynamo, the batteries and the through lighting of this railway carriage. The, as the carriage moved along, a belt drove a dynamo which would charge up batteries which would operate the lights. Now the history of this particular carriage, I mean, it seems quite checkered. It is. It's a, a very old carriage. It was built in 1922. It ran all the way through the Second World War and then when it should have been scrapped in the 1950s, uh, they chose this and several other old carriages to be turned into camping coaches. Uh, the idea was people would go and live in it in the country for a week or a fortnight uh, and use it just like a modern day caravan, uh, a mobile, easy uh, move about home. When the camp coach period came to an end in 1964, the works people at Doncaster had it and they used it as a sleeping and messing carriage while they were doing a lot of work on the East Coast Main Line. And that's where you got it from? No. Uh, uh, again, at the end of that job, it should have been scrapped, but a publican bought it, and he wanted to turn it into a breakfast room to extend his pub. He thought he was going to have an easy, cheap time uh, with the planners, and uh, unfortunately ran into big problems. So he sold it to a friend of his at another pub, uh, and that's where we bought it from. Both times it, it wasn't on its wheels, but both times it moved, the wheels went with it. So we're now lucky that it's back on its wheels and back on the track. Once restored, the carriage will contain its original four first and four third class compartments. The compartments will be authentic, made out of rare teak, which was luckily ordered before prices rocketed. Is there anything that needs to be done on the outside of the carriage? Yes, we are doing a lot of painting on the outside at the moment. Just painting that seems quite easy. Yeah, it is quite easy, but we have to scrape it right back to the bare metal because it has to be checked to meet modern day safety standards because it's going to run on the main line of this railway. Every preservation railway has to meet stringent industry safety standards. Seven Valley was no exception, and even during restoration, every care is taken to meet the criteria. You can see from all the uh, corrosion here, this is why we have to strip it right back to the bare metal to check that there's enough here for it to run on our railway. Dorman Long & Co built this and they were so proud of it they actually rolled their name onto it. It's a very strange section, it's called a bulb section mm -hmm. under frame. It's also not riveted, it's got a queen post and truss rod now, construction. So what's, what's the job of those two? Well this, this is to strengthen the under frame uh, and to stop it flexing as it moves up the track. Uh, 60 foot long carriages were very new in 1922 and they, they fully expected them to collapse in the middle. Up until then there'd been four and six wheelers. So on this piece here, it's not like the, um, the riveted frames on the other piece? No, this is, a, this is an old fashioned way of doing the same job. It's much lighter but much stronger. It's called a queen post and truss frame. Uh, the idea is that you can tighten these up and it will pull the carriage back into shape as you load it. Uh, this has got no brakes on it, which are, is a bit heavy, which is why it actually bows up a bit at the moment. And I have to ask you about this, because I've never seen the star configuration between. Before. That star purely denotes to the guard that when he's finished his turn of duty, he can come here and take the brake reservoir off, so that there's no chance of the brakes slipping overnight. It was now time to make my journey down the line, to meet the young people who hopefully might one day step into the shoes of the volunteers I'd already met today. Painting, cleaning, restoration, all very well and good. But first class carriage, peaceful countryside, that's the real reason for steam trains.
It's easy to see why Seven Valley is such a popular destination. Passing through two counties, the hour-long ride takes you through some of Britain's most picturesque villages, from Kidderminster at one end to Bridgenorth at the other. Up at the front, Thomas was puffing away and pulling me along in one of the two complete sets of carriages that Seven Valley owned. Over the years, they've chosen their large collection of rolling stock carefully, accurately reflecting an era from 1914 right up to the 1960s. Arriving at my final destination, I followed the crowds who were flocking to ride on a special guest, Toby. Well, this is a What does it actually consist of? Uh, it's an old custom chassis with a modified Ford engine and a purpose-built cab of woodwork to look like uh, Toby. And what do the kids think about it? They love it. They love it. Even today, the response from the kids is absolutely phenomenal over it. Now, you say the kids really like it, and a lot of the guys who do work on the railway are quite old. Who's the next generation going to be? So the fact that they like this sort of cartoon characters, the toy characters, do you think that'll get them interested in the railway? Toby was hired from the Battlefield Steam Railway and was a purpose-built vehicle for special days like this. Neil, tell me how it actually works. Well, basically, Toby's got four controls. There's a reverse forward and neutral lever there, which gives us the direction. Here, we've got the three-speed gearbox, which gives us three gears in forward or reverse. First gear, maximum speed, is approximately three mile an hour. Then about five mile an hour in second gear, going up to about 10 mile an hour in third gear, and that's the same for either direction. This one here is the handbrake, which we use for stopping Toby when we're going in either direction. And this here is the regulator, which gives us the speed for the engine. It's a four-cylinder Ford engine, which gives us about 48 horsepower. And what's this very valuable and interesting one? The most one? important one here is the horn. And where's the engine from? Was it made specifically for this? This type of engine, they did three different versions of it. One was for a tractor, one was for a lorry, and one was a multi-purpose uh, engine which drove compressors and uh, generators and things like that. Are you happy driving this one or will you rather be driving Thomas? Oh, definitely. I, the steam engine would win every time, but as a next best, this is good enough. Are there any young children who probably see, see you today and want to follow in your footsteps, do you think? Yes, sometimes there are lots of questions and people are very interested in joining. I've got two sons who are very keen and help me out quite a lot. Well, it sounds like Robert got his lads bitten by the bug, but what about all the other youngsters and parents who have come to the railway today? Can I ask you why you came here today? The kids really love uh, seeing the steam train. It's been wonderful. Have you had a nice day today? What is it about the trains that the kids like? The boys are just mad about trains, aren't they? I like trains. When you get older, would you like to be a train driver? Yeah. You wouldn't like to be yeah. a guard who waves the flag. <laughs> Which is your favourite? Do you like Percy best or do you like Thomas? Percy. Uh, I like Thomas. Would you, would you like to be Thomas? <laughs> yeah. Been a surreal question. Yeah. What have you enjoyed most? I want to go on Toby. We didn't get to the back controller and I was <laughs> upset about this thing. Now, obviously, the steam railways, to keep going, they need volunteers all the time, they need youngsters. Do you think any of yours will actually want to contribute at some well, point I'm in sure, their lives? I'm sure, especially the, the lads. I w would like to do something, maybe blowing the whistle and waving the flag <laughs> or something. Would you actually come along and work for no money? I probably would, do you? Luke, if we asked you to come down here and work on the railways, even though we don't pay you, would you come? Yeah. 